So I guess another thing, I, one thing I wanted to know was that how you felt about the current state of the tour as someone who's been on the tour for quite some time. You've experiences between different eras, successes between different eras as well, and comes with that is the controversies as well. And right now, I think much of the talk is around the Saul ban. And um, I know he's recently played in an event that you've also played in, uh, in the Grasshopper Cup, if I'm correct on that. But I just want to get your opinion on all the all this chatter that's happening on social media and as a player who has a more inside scoop on it. So overall, what I feel like, what I just uh, experienced at the QSF4, the Qatar tournament 50K just recently I played, um, it's a lot about that uh, blocking out your opponent after you hit your shot. So this, the whole criteria started with obviously Asal and one or two other players. Um, and I'm pretty sure back then when Gautier and the other guys played on tour, it was already happening, but mm. the referees or the whole scenery was not aware of that is it's such a bad thing or whatever, but the whole Asal story made it look worse and they were trying to change something and they always trying to bring up some new rules where the player should get uh, punished, punished for it. So what I experienced uh, against Tarek was we had a really good match. It was probably the, the best match against Tarek I ever had because my head to head is <laughs> yeah quite bad. But um, as I played him on the, on the court where he just uh, got world champion, in Qatar, mm. I did a really good job. And in the end, it was just like a long rally. And I was just going to the shot on my forehand. I was trying to go out as much as I can, but I just choose the wrong, the wrong line. He was right behind me and he kind of got shut out, shut out. And he was just looking to the ref. He said, yeah, you look, you know, that's, this is like uh, blocking, uh, blocking from a shot, mm. blah, blah. And you made his, the whole thing out, out of it. And the referee, of course, like, yeah, yeah stroke stroke against Kandra, mm -hmm. blah blah like it's just stroke to to moment and 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 then i thought like why is this like so much pumped up now uh, back in the days there was would be just a normal scenery like where it's a let situation we both choose the wrong lines or whatever but because of that whole thing they no no that shouldn't be allowed anymore like blocking the opponent out we should get strokes against each other straight away and and i think this is like for me a bit too much at the moment um where they don't really see like the natural game anymore, where they just see like kind of cheating situations, mm -hmm. which is not happening. And that kind of I this is this is such a unique take. I don't think I've ever heard this from when I've asked other players. Um it's, I guess it's a more of a critical take on you think it's being and oversaturated. It's pretty new as well. It's pretty new. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't experienced yeah. it that much. Uh we we always sneak some strokes or whatever that sometimes yeah. happens, you know? It's just like the natural oh, game. Recently, I just feel like you have to be aware so much on how you move out of your own shot, how not to push back from the from the lunge too hard, because otherwise you affect the other player. And then it's like, oh, that was a bit too much. Oh, stroke against. Is that? Oops. Wow, this was uh, no, not not the purpose. Uh, and and from there on, the game just gets more, you know, and more edgy. Because then mm. you, you're not focusing that much on, on the game anymore, and I think this is something where they need to drop again. Do you do you think that players are also getting better at manufacturing strokes out of this, with how refs are being more critical, uh, uh, making up situations where it looks more like strokes are just bumping into them? I'm, I'm not. I'm personally not sure, but I feel mm. like there's definitely like a a big chance of that. I mean, obviously. <laughs> nowadays it's so easy to watch the matches on squash tv and youtube and they know exactly what the top guys are doing and i don't know if you have heard it before but when when the, the whole assault thing came up back then when it was very new you you were able to see on youtube kids they were looking up to Assal and they were already already playing like him you know they were making fun of the physical aspect of the game and mm. that was a time where i Thought like, oh wow, maybe this is going is going the right wrong di direction, and we need to be aware of the juniors that they should know that this is not a good thing. This is a mm -hmm. bad thing. But you know, this is this is our game nowadays. This is how our game changed, and referees and officials uh, should find a way, and we as players we should find a way as well. Um, we're not made uh, made out of glass, so we have to find a way always. And yeah, this is what it is.